Right, I decided to go over a stile back there. There's lots of goats sheltering, which I've put on photos under these trees. I got over the fence from the north side path, gorge path, and decided to have a look. There's no cow in sight. And all this, this cow pack here is very, very dry. Very dry indeed. Could be a week old even. So whether they've moved them, I don't know. But you can hear men shredding. Shrimming. Now if you look right over there. I'll zoom in. There's the wireless masts on the area of Outstanding Beauty. I'm heading for a little pathway that, that passes them. Which I'll get to after I've done Velvet Bottom. So basically I'm going to be going across there where those strimmers are and all the way I'll pass right over there's a copse right in the distance. I'll be going up Velvet Bottom. That copse will be on the hill and another one there. And then I'll go all the way round across the area of Outstanding Beauty and back round through this farm again. That's plan A. Now, I've already I've already varied my route, but I don't mind actually, because I did that other route all the way along and winding around the woods um, about a month or so ago. The last time I was over Cheddar, I think I'd done it when I'd. I, I, well, I think I was on on my way to Longwood actually. Yeah, it was a month or so ago, and it could have been in April. Time goes so quick. <sighs> So basically, I notice there's no cows. Now the cows could be a long way off, right, right over the other side, where there's lots of trees and shelter. They will be huddling in there, unless they are right up that end, of course. Now that noise you can hear, the farmers shredding. I don't know why I've never, I don't know why they're doing it. Maybe they're just clearing a pathway. But I've got to walk past them in a minute. <coughs> But, um, yes, I don't mind walking through this dandelion field. This is the way I sometimes come back if I've been over to Longwood or anything, or coming back off the... I'll often come through this field. This is one of the fields I use mainly in the winter. Um, I can't imagine the cows have been taken away completely. I think they'll be right over the other side. Um, well, they've still got access to this field, but obviously with the heat... They've just decided to go somewhere else. I mean, there's nothing to stop them from sheltering here, for example. Now, this track here would take me down to a stile which would weave me in and out of the bushes there. But I've decided to go this way today. Must be hot work for those men doing that work. I mean, I don't know if they're National Trust people or farmers. This would have been an old stone building once, you see, where all these stones are. This would have, I bet there's a few snakes hiding in there. So yeah, so just above, all the goats are sheltering under those trees. And if you go down a little way, there's a stile that takes you back onto that path. So I do sometimes change direction. Um, it's not unknown for me to do that at all. So this is the other end of Piney Slights, basically. There we go, look. With a path that'll take you all the way over and back towards the walk I did earlier. Coming up from Cheddar Gorge. Over and out. Right, one good thing about coming this route, as opposed to the lower one, it's Velvet Bottom starts down there, look. I'll be down there in a minute. After skirting Longwood. I, you, I've got a view of um, the valley. Velvet bo Bottom Valley that goes all, curls all the way up round there. I know for sure my sister Jude has been there because she told me she knew Velvet Bottom. But I don't know whether she knew Longwood. See, some people just do one bit and they don't realise that very close by there's also another really beautiful area.
See, in the winter, you could probably go down the bank here, straight down, but with it all being a bit like overgrown like that, I'm not going to risk it because there's a great possibility of adders being in grasses like that. It just ain't worth the risk. So I'm going well, to go down the old track that I normally climb up most of the time. But I have been down a pathway because down there is black rock. Just sort of round about there is the quarry, the old quarry. And you walk up the track a bit and there's Velvet Bottom Walk, which is a lovely, lovely walk, by the way. And you can feel the history around you when you, when you walk it. You know the Romans were there. You know? You know that the Romans were there. that is. <laughs> Get me a knife out. Right, just to turn off a minute, there's a bottle there. 